This is Georgie from GSD Solutions going over how you can add um, an embedded checkout to your website if you have an event that's listed on Eventbrite. So listing an event on Eventbrite has multiple purposes, pro mainly including getting that marketing reach that Eventbrite organic search engine provides for various events. But when you're in the back end of an event, what you want to do is click the three dots and then you're going to go ahead and get into edit. Once the edit page of the event loads up, you're gonna look at the left side of the screen, scroll down until you see the marketing tab, select marketing, the little drop down arrow next to marketing, and then you'll go down to embedded checkout. Embedded checkout just allows for you to have everything on your own website so that way folks don't have to go to Eventbrite. If you're driving traffic already to your website, it's one less step that they have to take. On this page, you have the option to then select if you want it to be a button that will still take them outside of your website and go into Eventbrite or embedded with the content on the page. This way, it allows for folks to stay on the same page without ever having to leave your website when they're purchasing tickets for your event. You select the option that you'd want to use, then you go down until you see the embedded code. You simply go ahead and copy that code. Now we're gonna do an example using an Eventbrite using a WordPress page. So let's title our page. And then we will add a block of code. So we would add an HTML block, custom HTML. And you could do this in Elementor or just any other website. So this is just the example using WordPress. And then you want to go ahead and preview. So let's, all right, there we go. So the preview of the page and we could do an official preview um, open it into a new tab. And then in a second, we'll see or embedded checkout that lives directly on our website where a person um, could go ahead and check out without having to leave our page. They could click tickets, then it'll prompt them, they'll register. And another quick trick that you can use is if you want to edit the HTML so that way the widget is a little bit longer. So right now the container, the height is 425. I could go ahead and make that height maybe 800 or some other different heights so that way it's a little bit longer if they, you have a long form to fill out or if you have multiple tickets that you want people to be able to scroll through and see. Um, so yeah, this is how you embed your checkout inside of a different website using an HTML custom code in inputter.